Well, hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian, and today I'm gonna to be showing you this brand new Lee Time 100 amp hour 12.8 battery. Now, I've been keeping this battery in the back of my truck camper, and I've been using it to top off my Goal Zero battery. And the reason I'm using this battery is because you probably can't tell, but it is the mini 100 amp hour battery. So this thing is absolutely tiny, and it fits under my bed platform absolutely perfectly. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but these are the new mini 100 amp hour batteries. Now to give you a size comparison of this lead time, this is what I had in my truck to begin with. And this is my Redodo 100 amp hour 12.8 battery. So hopefully you can see the difference in the width, length. So let me get this behemoth out of the way now. And let's talk a little bit about this lead time battery. Again, it is absolutely tiny. In fact, it only weighs 19 pounds and it's 35% smaller than your standard everyday 12.8, 100 amp hour batteries from Redodo, Unowix, Chins, all of the same battery platforms. This is 35% smaller. So they've just compressed everything that they could into the smaller form factor in this battery and I absolutely love it. And if you have the itch, if you're in case you're wondering, you can connect up to 16 of these to create a 48 volt 400 amp hour battery energy storage system at your home if you want to go buy 16 of them. It's got an IP65 water rating and of course it comes with your with your BMS that's going to have your over voltage protection, over temperature protection, overcharge protection, all, all that good stuff built into it. Now this does not have a low temp charging cutoff feature so it's not recommended to charge this thing below 32 degrees some will argue you can do it i know uh jason oid and i think will prouse have even done a video that charging it below freezing actually doesn't really damage these batteries but i still wouldn't recommend doing that but i'm actually just super impressed by this little battery now Everyone on YouTube has done a review on Ampere Time batteries, and that's what this is. It's just Lee Time now. They changed brandings. Ampere Time has always received really good reviews from all of the main big YouTube guys that review these batteries a lot better than I do. But it's just Lee Time now, so just keep that in mind. This, if, if you're used to Ampere Time, that's what this is. And the reason I use this, again, is because of the form factor. It's tiny, it weighs a lot less, and I'm really concerned about keeping my truck camper weight down as much as I can. So that's why this battery is absolutely perfect for me. Now, I did do a capacity discharge test on this, and you can see here that during my DC capacity testing, I was able to get 103 amp hours pulled out of this 100 amp hour battery. So they're not shortchanging you on the internal battery capacity out of this thing. Now you're also gonna get up to 4,000 cycles off of this thing with 100% depth of discharge. That means you can recharge and charge this thing up to 4,000 times all the way down to empty before you're going to see a decrease to up to about 80% in the original capacity. And right now on Amazon, this thing's going for $369.99 with a pretty standard $30 off coupon, which brings it to $339, which is on par with a lot other standard size 12.8 volt batteries. I wanna do a couple of tests on this thing and run it on my little inverter over here to make sure that it runs at at least 100 amps because that's what the BMS is rated for. Okay, so I got my XYZ inverter hooked up to the battery. Now, one thing I didn't mention on this battery is you can mount it in any way, shape, or form. You can mount it on its side, on its back, upside down. So that also creates a lot more options when you're trying to fit one of these batteries into a small compact space. You don't have to keep it upright either, which is another bonus of this battery. But I'm gonna pull up a screenshot of my Victron because I've got the Victron Smart Shunt in between the battery and the inverter. So you can kind of watch the amp draw and to see how it performs. So right now we're sitting at 13.68 volts. Obviously nothing is being discharged from the battery, but I do have a heat gun. And I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna get to around 90 95 amps or as close as I can get to it and let it run for about 10 minutes and make sure everything's working fine on this battery. <laughs> 58 amps on the low setting, kick it up to high. So it got up to 113 amps briefly. I'm gonna to try to let it settle down around 96, 95 amps, because again, I only have a 100 amp fuse on this thing. So in order to avoid from blowing that out, I'm gonna keep it as close to 100 amps as I can. I'm gonna run a timer for you guys. And we're gonna start going.
right, guys. Well, I tell you, I've never been this excited for a test to be over. It is hot in here. 10 minutes and three seconds. Let's check some of the temperatures here. 91. Positive post. 97. Negative post. 96.8. So, needless to say, this little battery had no problems at all running 100 amps for at least 10 minutes. Probably would have gone until the battery was drained, but I didn't want to push it that long and it's getting really hot in this garage running that heat gun. Got that mess cleaned out of the way. Let's go ahead and take another voltage test real quick. 13.28. Well, gang, that's kind of it. I mean, there's nothing really much to these batteries. Either they work or they don't work, and Ampere Time slash Lead Time has been around for a while. They're not some knockoff brand. It's a good battery, and the fact that it is this small, I don't know, I hope I can convey that, how small this little 100 amp hour battery is, but I have a feeling most batteries are gonna have to be going to this form factor because they're just so much more convenient. You can move them around a lot easier, fit them in smaller spaces a lot easier, and this one in particular comes with a five year manufacturer warranty. And again, those warranties are only as good as the companies behind them, and Ampere slash Lead Time has been around for a while, so I think that that warranty does hold a little bit of value to the purchaser. And now again, remember this doesn't have a low temp cutoff feature, so don't charge below freezing. It's good to go. There's really nothing else to it. The battery just works. So I will leave a link to the lead time website and possibly an Amazon link to this battery if you want to go check it out yourself and read more in detail all the specs and everything else about this battery that I might not have covered. But I can just tell you from personal experience, this battery has been rock solid. It's done everything I've asked it to do. And I think it's perfect. The only con, if there is one, is that your standard typical battery box like you would see on the front of an RV unit, these are so much smaller, you've got to build some type of baffle in that battery box for this to get into it and it not slide around or you know jiggle around that battery box. The con is its benefit that it, it's so small. So that's the only thing that I could find is I was gonna use this in my RV battery box, but you know, I'm just gonna go put one of the standard 100 amp hour batteries in there because this, is, this does rattle around and I didn't feel like going to build any type of baffling to put in that battery box. It's the only thing I can find wrong about this thing. So anyway guys, that is the Lead Time 100 amp hour 12.8 volt mini battery. So hope you found that useful and until next time, take care guys.